Okay. So that's uh, both shocks, both rear shocks removed in about 10 minutes. Not bad. Uh, a lot better than last time, which took me hours. So we can, uh, yeah, you can definitely see the oil leakage there, it's pretty bad. Yeah. So, I'm going to clean these up and then strip them down. Okay, so I've cleaned up the shocks a bit. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get it shiny, but better than nothing. And mounted it on the jack. On the jack? Yeah, on the, on the clamp. And I am now going to the nitrogen hopefully I'm going to try these. See if I can actually grip on the outside of it because I'm going to need to pull on it. Yep, looks like I might be able to. Okay. So, push it in. And there's a retaining pin. So, this is what I need by the pick set. First obstacle. This isn't the same kind of retaining clips that there are in others. So I'm probably going to have to clamp this down, which kind of means a different clamp. I need another clamp on here. I'm going to have to go and get one. So I've got a rag wrapped around. And I've got my storage system for oil. Got the zip ties there, so I don't have to worry about it flopping around. And I have my tool. This is really hard to open with one hand. I have my tool, and what I need to do here is unscrew this bit, and then I've got these two bits that it sort of goes into. So.
I'm going to have to turn some iron keys, that that's going to make them work. Looks like someone did a doozy on this. It's really massive. <sighs> okay, I had a pretty big fight with the screw. Finally managed to get it off. I think I'm gonna probably replace that. Now let's see if we can get this thing up. Oh. Okay, we got some mallet. Interesting, different design. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty grubby. Okay, I'm just gonna thread this back on a little bit. <sighs> Squeeze this down. That should have done the pin, yep. Annoyingly. Don't really help with this. Okay. What is it doing? This is a bit I've got to be super duper careful. Otherwise, I'm going to get oil everywhere. <sighs> yep, I told you. Here's the stack. Nothing really budged by you know who. Um, there is the oil, and there's just a lot of foam in there. I don't know if that's just from me taking it off just now. Or maybe nitrogen pipes through the filter piston. Just to seal it out on. Oh, it's going to drain that now. So we now have the reservoir. So I'm gonna try and put it on its own piece of paper. And we have these parts which I need to just have to clean up. So 
under here. I guess I can kind of screw this back on because this doesn't go anywhere, but that's right. No. Yeah, I need to take this off. Okay. Firstly, then, let's measure the depth of this. We need exactly this and this. So here, the depth is nine point four. I'm gonna write that down somewhere. kind of screw hole in there. Ideally, I'd like to make something to be able to extract that. So I'm going to try a few different screw threads, see if one of them fits in there. If it does, then I can weld something up. Try through this lot. This is also here. This might be the right pitch. I've got long needle nose pliers. Well, I guess I could just try this screw down and see what happens. Okay. I mean, it's magnetic, so. Okay, that's too small. Too small. That's what I do need the press for. That will drain out. Okay. Oh, dear, I don't have it quite a mess to clean up after this. <sighs> but yeah, it definitely seems like there was nitrogen in the wrong side of the bloody piston. Which is very interesting. So, yeah. And the slip ring. Interesting material. And there's the IC. Good time as any to take apart the to take apart this.
So, can't really see this. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, loosen the knot up there. But it's so tight. I have no idea what. Close the top and the bottom. Sit close the bottom, push into the top. That makes sense. So I'm not sure about the the stack order, but I'll try it like this one. Then we have these two bits. Then we have this. needs to go in cleaner because it's pretty filthy, pretty lanky. I put it on video too, in case. Okay, so I've got the bits degreasing in here for a while. They're going to be sitting here for a bit. Uh, later on, we'll come back and continue.
Okay, update. So I've cleaned the parts in the degreaser. Um, oh, and I removed the reservoir because that needs to be cleaned up as well. First piece that I've changed the seal on this is the old seal, and this is the new seal. That's going in my box of bits. So, uh, each of these pieces are sprayed up with brake cleaner, so that should uh, clean off quite well. Uh, damn, I left the. I have to move this. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes. So, cleaning up each of these bits and changing the seals as I go. Um, See what I'm doing. I'm just gonna. Okay. Right. So. You see? It's the seal in there. Got an O ring. So this is the old O ring. It comes out. And now I just give it a good clean. Make sure there isn't any rough parts that could damage the new O ring. All the edges nicely cleaned up. And now I'm guessing it's gonna be fairly obvious. And yeah, that looks like the right one. So new ring goes in here. There we go. Now this one's got a lot of bits in it, so it's gonna be interesting. So we've got the outer one. And then there's this, right, there's this kind of cup in here. I don't see one that's just like that. Let me see. Oh yeah, this, this is it. There's that. There's that. Just making sure I'm not screwing anything up before I pull it out. Okay, that doesn't come out very easily. So I look at this. Okay, so it's got some kind of lip on there. Interesting that it's in that way. Ah, there we go. I'm curious about that because, yeah, it seems like the point where it would get grease build up. Need a bit more brake cleaner. Just gonna let that sit for a second. <laughs> this is one of these slip rings. That's all good to go. And this is the end cap. That's also good to go. There's nothing to do here. Interesting, it's kind of reacted with the degreaser a bit. I'm not sure why. It's got this kind of odd build up on the inside. Maybe it's just grease, maybe it's just the oil, I don't know. But yeah. Snap rings nice and clean. Now, this is the uh, valve stack, and there's no seals to change on here, but there is um, 
the valving I need to check because it just I just don't trust what was done basically uh, so I'm just gonna let that dry off a bit before checking that out so beyond those you can see we've got quite a few left so I'm guessing that maybe I need to change some okay so now I've got these measurements to check the size of all the valves stack and so I'm going to be doing that now Yep. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up otherwise it's gonna be really boring. Okay, so I went and checked off the numbers and there's only two discrepancies. There's a, uh, a rebound shim that's too thin, sorry, too thick, which is a 46, and this should be a 38. And there is a compression shim that's just a bit too wide, which isn't a huge deal because it's the same thickness, but still I'm gonna check and see if I've got any. And now I just have to go through this lot and this lot to see if I can find one that matches. Great. Okay, so I found four of these 33 mil by 0.38 mil shims um, so that's all two that were wrong one was 33 by 46 and it should have been 33 by 38 the other one was 35 by 38 and it should have been 33 by 38 so these actually cover both of those cases and it could possibly be exactly the same for the other stack so for now I'm going to move these to something else so that I don't get them mixed up. I have no idea why that was all messed up like that. Now, 
I've got to be kind of careful because I've got to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an unzip tie ready so that this doesn't get confused. to cut this one once I cut it okay. so the as I say these two gauge then there's three of these and it should be the one I need to change so one, two, three. And then this is the one. So this measures thirty three. So it should be thirty eight. Oh, forty six. So Putting that in there, so that's in there. So I put this strap back on. I put these two back on. Okay. Right, and for this one, it's the. So it's quite close to the end. It's the last one. Before it goes to this one. So this one measures 36. Should be 33, and it should be 38 thickness. Right. So that one goes on there, these go on there, and we close it back up. Sweet. Revalving them, even though I shouldn't have had to. <sighs> now I've got some more of these things to do. So we have quite a few more seals. I have no idea where they go. So now I'm going to be doing some research on that. <coughs> so after a bit of fiddling around, I realised that I could actually get the this section completely off. So there's two o rings in there, which. Are Another of the two I'm looking for. And this bolt here has an O-ring inside it. Not sure why that's there, but anyways. Um, and then I realized too late that I didn't know which of the holes the hose actually pours into on, on this one. But luckily, since I took photos, I found out it's this one. So I've now made some arrows. So just uh, cleaning this up with brake cleaner and degreasing that bit. And I'm going to be that up in a moment. <laughs> 